UK's biggest, brightest and best radio station. I don't think you can argue with that. Remember, uh, the Scotty McClue Mega website is up and running, so if you want to uh, log on to that, if you're a cyberspace person, then uh, www.scotty-mcclue.com. www.scotty-mcclue.com. All right. And Scotty, of course, is S-C-O-T-T-I-E dash M double C L U E S C O T T I E dash M double C L U E. So it's www dot Scotty dash McClue dot com. Log on and see that lot and uh, you'll never be the same again. Now uh, we've got Benny from Blackpool. Hello. Hello, Dinky Doo, Benny. Dinky Doo, Paul. How are we doing, mate? No problem. I'm talking about this, uh, you know, he's talking about women cooking. Talking about the women cooking, Benny. It's just right. to see that they deliver properly, because a lot of women are shirking their responsibilities these days. Well, you know, I'm from Scotland. I'm, I'm from a wee village called Broxburn, just outside Edinburgh. I can Broxburn well. Right. Broxburn and in Midlothian. That's right. Yes. Now... Broxburn, uh, we won't mention the name, but they do the sausages. That's right, that's right. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. Now, uh, near, near that, Bathgate. And, and that's right. Just about five miles from Bathgate. Five or six miles from Bathgate. Bathgate and Armadale. It oh, used what? to be, uh, well, uh, there it used to be the old day meet. Well, the, the, the old day. The old day. The old day. Used hey, to go, sorry. Hey. That's it. used to go past the truck factory. That's right. That's no right. Bother, no anyway, bother. what was I going to say? I've never known that to be a problem with men in Scotland, to be honest with you. Because no, no. I would say about 90% of the men in Scotland, I'm talking about from my time brought up, uh, every one of you let them loose in the kitchen and they can drop a meal for six, no problem. But the men? Yes. Oh, yes, the men are good cooks as well. But I've, I've never known, I'm honest to be honest, I think men are the best cooks in the world. Even, you know, I mean, all these great chefs are men. All right, you've got things like that and things like that. But... They're only cooking in the back room, in that private, and they're rehearsing and everything. And then they put that and everybody thinks, oh, they're great. Try to put her in a big hotel. I'm a retired chef. What do I? Oh, brilliant. Right? And you try to put her in a big kitchen, where she's got hundreds and hundreds of meals to do, and look after her. Now, tell me, can you answer me a question, Benny? Yeah, sure. How is it that, uh, see, when everybody's coming down for breakfast in a big hotel, did you used to do the breakfast? Yes, I was there. How do you know whose boiled egg is whose? You know when they sit, you know they sit down with a wee pinky up and they're having a cup of tea and you give them some toast to shut them up, right? Yeah. And and then you say things like, now, um, uh, you've you've got your tea and toast, what can I get you for breakfast? They go, oh, two boiled eggs, please, just soft boiled. Well, everybody, everybody that comes in, when they come in in the morning... Because you've only two colours, brown and white. I know that, I know that. But it's not that... See, you get a line in in the morning, right? A line's done all. You've got your lines in front of you, all your wee notes saying uh, table one, table two, table five, table six. Table See, the Auntie like, Fanny you know. at table six doesn't, doesn't like salt and all that. Well, that's, that's all right. Well, salt doesn't matter. They can get out of the table. Right. Right. But I'm talking about the eggs. Eggs is only... The most I egg a lifer is three minutes. Right. So that's no problem. I mean, if somebody wants a soft-boiled egg, all right. You do the, the other people at the, the tables, breakfast and everything like that. Well, how do you know which one's which? Oh, that's no problem. You've got a big pan of eggs. Ah, uh, no, you don't. You don't do it that way. You do it. See, everybody, every table has got its own, has got its own line, you know. You've got your own plates right. in front of you. You right. just put it there. Table five, two, uh, full breakfast and two soft-boiled eggs. Right. So you, when you do the full breakfast, you put it there. And then while well, they'll do that, when you get the breakfast for them, right, you, then you put your eggs out to them. So well, how do you way. manage to get the breakfast just right? Oh, well, that's a case of good chefing. Because you need a hot plate, you need yeah. the bacon to be right. Yeah, I know, but nowadays... The nowadays black you, pudding. You put them, there's usually a shelf in front of you, a big long shelf, right, yeah. where, the, where the waiters come and uh, everything like that. And it's all under, and under a red light. That you make the breakfast and you put it under the light, and that keeps it nice and warm. Just and fresh. right. See, and then you can do about maybe three or four, maybe have about ten lying under there. See, I think and it's all lovely. That's broad, Benny. Okay. Anyway, that's not what I wanted to say. That. No, sorry, Benny. Aye. 
every, every, I mean, even the, in Blackpool, I would say about 40% of the, 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 the men in Blackpool, uh, right, well, I'm, the ones I've met, like, so single blokes or that, or they're working, or one thing or another, no, you can go into the house any time of the week, and the first thing you get is, let's have a plate of stories, or you can do, I mean, uh, I can cook. Yeah, I've never done a scuss when I can cook. You're a top man, Benny. Honestly. I yeah. mean, I think it's... Uh, they're always running down the, the Scots men being miserable. Like no, that. they're uh, not. That's just joking. They love them. Well, I'm telling you, we're the greatest people. If it the wasn't for the Scotsmen, Blackpool would shut. And by the way, I think I've met you once. I'm sure I... I of course you, you have. have been in Reece Starkis in Glasgow. Yes. I worked there for about eight years. Yes. As a chef there. Of course Reece I've met Starkis. you. Of course I've met you. I'm sure I've met you. Honestly. I'll have met you, Benny, aye. I've met most you of the know. Scots now. <laughs> but Benny. very few people don't know Scotty McClue. Oh, no, I know that, Scott. I'm not talking about it that way. But uh, as I was going to like to say, as a, I mean, and that man from, where, where is that? Africa. South Africa, is. okay. He I can, mean, he should many, go back many, there. How many nutters can you get? How many nutters can you get? Benny, I'm going to have to go for the news. Lovely to talk okay, to you. Okay, bye. And, and dinky-doo. Dinky-doo, you too. Dinky-doo, mate. Cheers, pal. Hey, dinky-doo. See you, Benny.